What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. Let's head on down into the catacombs. Oh, he's dead. That did not take long. He's gone for like, what, two minutes? Uh, let me pull the game back up. Uh, so what do we got here? Let's see. Probably should start using those, but they're also what I need to respec, so I'm kind of like, uh, I'll save them. That's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we're getting it. Whoa, saw blade? Saw blade? Is that a weapon? What, bro? What? What is this? What is this considered? So, man, oh, that seems so good. It's just like you hit stuff and you have poise. This is attack, poise, block, absorb, stamina cost, and backstab damage. I got that dodge down. I gotta be honest, that is pretty, pretty sexy. I was timing it like a parry. I need to time it like a button spammy thing. Oh boy, no, it's a lot of shit. Staying near anything when it dies now. Uh, so it's 2.5. Next level deals three. Uh, if I go up here, five percent backstab, three percent reduced stamina cost. Air diving. Let's get the air dive. Press the heavy attack button in the air. Hit pretty hard. Oh, shit. I guess we can see what bleeding does now. Oh, god damn it. So I need to like roll towards him. We can go to the left or we can go to the right. What is waiting for me? Secret key. Why do the individual seems to have a commensurate and effect in the results? We finally have a test subject close to success as possible. She had originally maintained her form. That said, I didn't expect that I would need to convince her to work with me this time. It's almost harder than finding a subject of my own. Need some sort of scheme, maybe a letter. Oh, 
Oh shit! Oh god, that was almost really bad. So it looks like this is supposed to crumble. That's got to be a shortcut path that I get later. Nope. I might not be. Oh shit! I might not be able to make that jump. There we go. Too many skeletons. Oh, hello. That is beautiful. This is considered catacomb still. Well, now I kind of want to kill all the skeletons just because now that I'm right next to a save, it's like 3 XP. I might as well. Form a spinning slash immediately after landing from air dive. Oh shit, so I can land, dash, and then boom, 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 boom. Okay. That's pretty dope. That, that's, I like that. That's really nice. I mean, this weapon is, is definitely starting to grow on me now, but I will say that, um, my initial perception, and this isn't of the weapon, but more of the game. I think it would be a little bit better if weapons... Oh yeah, this boss fight for sure. I'll probably need to go get heals, but... Scarlet Ocarina. I feel like it'd be, it'd be more interesting if you had at least, like, the base moveset of your weapon. Like, um... I don't know, axes have charge, sword has parry. Maybe give this its dodge mechanic right off the start. Use it in front of the ceremonial stone monument in the catacombs and you'll be transferred into an unknown space. I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest. That doesn't sound... I don't know, it looks like I don't have much of a choice. Alright, well... That's not how you play an ocarina. Fuck is this? Okay, this game just got real event horizon y real fast.
Oh, when I'm crouching, I have like a power shot. so dumb this is perfect they're not worth a lot of xp but this is great sudden. I'm guessing I don't want to be around those things when that happens. I will say this place is a gold mine. What am I up to? 266. Yeah, 2668. It will definitely be a I don't know if I want to touch that. That doesn't seem like it's good. I don't know if I like going this way either. This doesn't seem very nice either. It's filled with the bloody spikes. problem is if I jump down I don't know if I can get back up and I don't like it I'm not ready for that kind of commitment yet well, it's... oh no is this a boss fight did I just start a boss fight bro no no we don't we don't need to take this down to the center of of I zone can we just bring the elevator back up please is that oh no this is like a boss this is definitely a boss God damn it, I'm in a boss area. The fuck is this? They're like over exhaustion myself? Actually, I don't know why I was worried about this. This is not bad at all. And your poison hurts a little.
Okay, never mind, here he is. He was just fucking around up until then. Okay, that's that's nice. Yes, very nice. Bro, I've come so far. I've not come this far to die to your ass. Yes, I have. I'm out of healing. God damn it. Well, hey, now we know what awaits us down in the catacombs. Um, it's some weird thing with a really, really annoying boss fight, to be honest. Oh, cool. So I got... All right. At least I got a save at the Scarlet thingy, so I can... Um, I'm going to explore the rest of this area this time. I'm just going to kind of wander around and check it all out. Oh, you know what? I just came to the realization that once I get here, I don't think there is any leaving without fighting that boss. And I know there were some loots I got. that bothers me is after seeing this area it's clear that I could I could really farm up here a lot like I could farm up a absolutely delicious amount of experience and gold like I'm getting I mean shit oh god damn it these things hurt a lot oh come on stop it Like, the amount of gold that can be made in this place is unreal. And the only problem is that... I have a feeling that... Oh wow, so it's really fast to get over to here going this way. I have a feeling that when I leave this place, that's it. Like, you leave and you're gone. So, like, if I want to farm, I think I need to farm up all this shit before I fight the boss. And then, obviously, beat the boss as well. Which, I mean, the fight itself isn't that bad. I got popped a couple times by, uh, by stuff, but... problem is I don't think I don't I do not think there is a way out of here so I can't just farm and then go buy heals and to be honest I can't do this fight without heals so I will say, I like that the spikes aren't instant kill, because we all know my history with the uh, instant kill spikes and how much I love those. But I think we're, we're probably just going to die here. Um, but it seems like going to the right actually got me a couple loot, so I think we just go to the right. And then uh, basically just rush our way to the boss, but... Can I just, like, load system... Yeah, I'll go buy all the potions that I need, and then we'll come down here and we'll we'll give this a a good proper attempt first. I am 
Oh, I'm a thousand gold off, and I feel like the bleed damage would actually help out a lot. Because after getting hit by bleed a few times myself... Now that I know what it's capable of doing, I'm like... That would actually be really good to have on a weapon. Um... Where to go? Do I have anything that I can sell right now that's worth anything? Vertebra, it's worth almost nothing. I have like th basically 30 gold worth of shit. Uh, guess we're going catacombs. Or uh, cemetery. I'll just, I'll sprint through cemetery. I'm going to get... I'm gonna get, uh, get the money I need here. place is probably going to be up top because it seems like gold is uh gold seems to be pretty standard per enemy like i'm not getting you know any more gold for Skeletons are worth more. Maybe it would be better to just run back through the catacombs, do a catacombs run real fast. I think here's here's what's gonna happen. We we know um we know where where to go from here. Um but I need I need to kill these things. If I can hit three thousand gold, I can put uh bleeding on my weapon and I have two of those did I have do I have two of those stones or did I get the stone down in there? I have one right now. So I'll uh, I just gotta save up enough to put bleed. And I think that'll make a big difference. Um, just, uh, just out of curiosity, let's see. Sounds like an awesome axe. Someone... I might actually, if I sell that sword that I have... Keep the bow. What is this? One twenty. Only worth. How is that worth so little? Sort. 
getting 15 per sale on pretty much everything. So, all oh, that was worth one or nine. Worth nine. It says 15, but I'm not actually getting 15. Um, I still need 3,000. Or uh, 500. What am I saying? I need to hit 3,000 with 500. Actually, that room, wasn't there, yeah, that's right, there's a room filled with skeletons right by this point. I can probably get my, my 500 right now, just fighting uh, these guys. That's right, that was that tricky ass jump that I had to make. So I'm making almost, I'm making a little over 100 gold per run here. per skeleton. And then the scapulas, those sell for an extra 15. Um, let me upgrade. I do look, I mean, meteor shower is risky as shit, but it deals damage. 5% backstab damage. I feel like I should get all of my passives at least once, but... I'm gonna learn that. Because that seems like it's my primary DPS move here. I'm getting 27 per pop. Screw it. I'll put the next point in there too. I'm actually getting really good XP doing this as well. So right, we're going two runs probably. We'll, just, we'll say, we'll call it three runs just because I need to, need to make sure I have enough to buy potions too, so. Typically I would just do this shit, but I feel like every time, every time I'm like in a game like this where I'm like, alright, I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to farm a little bit and then we're going to tackle this boss. Like I always start up the next episode and people are like, I don't get it. You gained like three levels. What happened? And I'm like, but bro, was the are we just are we actively just choosing not to to pay attention? I'm 
All right, there we go. 1.2 times my normal damage with super speedy stabs. And this run will have me set. Oh yeah, dude, 37 per pop. And as fast as I'm hitting. Looks like that might be the backstab hit. Spawn and drop down, I guess. Okay. Now we see how heavy blood hits, which actually, before I do this, I'm saving because if this is shit, I want back my 3,000 gold. Looks like it's roughly five per tick. And it does look like it stacks. So what about if I'm doing this? And we're only getting roughly two per tick still. It's not that good. Um, honestly, what I'd, what I'd probably want, 10% health or 20% bleeding resistance. Poise, poison, defense value, increases attack when unarmed. Unarmed damage plus 75. Oh, so it's like a punching thing. Ice. For stamina, reduced will increase attack. Initial attack is down. First resist reflects 75% physical damage. Fire resist. Yeah, I mean, it's... Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. It's damage. Damage is good right now. Either way, let's wrap things up here. We've explored the catacombs. And we will tackle this goofy-ass boss tomorrow. So, I'll see you all then.